It started simple. Our money was sucked up monthly or yearly for a newspaper or magazine subscription. And for a video streaming subscription. And for a music subscription. But now... It seems there's no object or thing that doesn't seem to come with a money-sucking subscription attached. Yes, it's getting out of hand. More and more of your money is going to monthly and yearly subscriptions for all types of things. And there are only going to be more subscriptions coming, especially from the gadgets and things around you. Here's why, and what you can do to clean up your subscription list. There are two reasons companies everywhere have turned to charging us on a monthly or yearly basis. Technology and money. Allow me to use my internet-connected ring doorbell to illustrate the technology part. It's always streaming video to my phone and being updated with new features thanks to the cloud. If I want to see recordings of what's happened in the past, say, catching some crazy with a vacuum in front of my house, Ring asks that I pay $3 a month. It's what the tech industry refers to as SaaS, or software as a service. And yes, even HaaS, hardware as a service. The whole thing is always updating and working for you, until you stop paying. As more and more things connect to the internet, they'll come with subscriptions. Everyone from router makers to workout equipment companies are doing it. Why not charge a flat fee? These companies and Wall Street love the idea of recurring revenue. They can expect a certain amount every month or year from a set number of people. And they bank literally on the fact that we often don't cancel. Yes, it's real easy to forget what we're paying for and what subscriptions we have. In fact, 84% of Americans underestimate what they pay monthly for subscriptions. So here's what we're all going to do right now. Number one, make a list of your subscriptions. Log into your credit card or bank accounts, and then make a good old fashioned list of the things you get charged for every month and the amount you pay. Services like Trim and Truebill will do this for you, but I'm personally not a fan of allowing other services access to my bank account. Number two, cancel the ones you don't use. I got back $20 a month by canceling two subscriptions I was rarely using. Some companies make canceling easier than others. Thanks to a 2018 California law that required a way to cancel subscriptions online, companies have made this a lot easier. Still, be strong when trying to cancel. If you have difficulty, try those customer service chatbots. They can be quite helpful for getting money back. Okay, maybe not that helpful. If you've subscribed to a service through Apple's App Store, canceling is a lot easier. On the iPhone, go to Settings, tap iTunes and App Store, then tap your Apple ID, then View Apple ID, then tap Subscriptions, and cancel from there. Number three, set a calendar reminder to do this on a yearly basis. Put it in your calendar right now, because this is just the start of the madness. Especially if you, like me, sometimes fall prey to that free trial that silently becomes a recurring monthly charge. Believe me, the money is going to start to be sucked from places you never expected. Nobody was lost or harmed in the making of this video.